Hello, and welcome back to the Real Team 6 podcast, where we bring you real gameplay with real talk. That screwed up, and I should have said it the other way. But that is fine. We're going to roll with it. <laughs> anyway, um, for those who are returning, thank you. Uh, we really appreciate it that uh, all the subscribers that we've gotten this past week. It's been really amazing. Uh, we appreciate your support. Uh, if you're new here, please just drop a like, maybe subscribe. Uh, it'll help us know to just keep doing this, um, to keep pushing forward. And with that, we'll actually be moving right into our topics for today. Uh, today we're going to be discussing The Last of Us 2 is a failure. Uh, what is the future of Eve 3? And is it weird for two guys to share a sex doll? <laughs> so to introduce our uh, cast for today, we're going to start with Darren. Darren. It's good to have Darren back. He's our or he's our sixth person in real Well, technically six. I was never gone. Uh, well, you know, Darren... You were we went Darren, the first yay! Time. Yay! <laughs> Darren, say whatever you want to say. Well, you know, I got nothing. Yeah, I, I, compl I had like six things planned and then I just completely blanked out. Darren, and that's yay! what we do. <laughs> uh, number two, Mir. Uh. <laughs> that's, cool. that's really cool of you. Uh, Ryan, pulling up on Hello. the third spot. What's up? Nathan, our number four. Hi. We got Sabrina with the power five position. Hi. And then you got Topher, moderator for this podcast. Today we will be playing Minecraft. Uh, it's a great game. It's Minecraft. There's really nothing to explain about it. So going into our first topic, let's talk about Last of Us 2. Uh, so going through the sources, there's been a lot of just kerfuffle that's been happening since the release. A lot of people upset. Uh, Wired.com has actually come out and said that it's a failure. Why? Let's find out. Uh, they came out and said that more than anything, this is a quote, more than anything, Last of Us 2, while packed with exhilarating set pieces, is less impressive than its predecessor, because games have now proven they can deliver cinematic narratives. More accurately, they have proven that they cannot ape the narratives and idioms of Hollywood. Naughty Dog did it back in 2013, and the game was a landmark. God of War, Red Dead Redemption 2 are just some of what have done more recently. It seems appropriate that The Last of Us 2 comes to an end of a console cycle. It will be interesting to see if the next generation of cinematic games looks beyond Hollywood for their inspiration. If they grow adverse of Hollywood's mass market formula or theme and character. So essentially what they're saying here is that like it's a failure on a narrative standpoint. I mean, financially, it's not, but it's they're saying it's a failure. What do you think about that? Uh, well, I, the I, main I, purpose of it being a failure oh, is it didn't match the first one. The first one was a great game. I loved it. But the character that you put, like, halfway through the game, you start playing as a character that killed the main character in the first one. And she's just not likable. She has very little background. The origin of her story coming to The Last of Us 2 was just weak. I should preface this spoiler alert. So anybody oh, that absolutely. doesn't want to learn anything, skip ahead ten minutes because there will be spoilers in this yeah. in this discussion. Uh, I will um, say one thing about the Last of Us Two of how it's mostly a failure is it should never never have been created. <laughs> well, I know uh, there there are a lot of people who said that, right? Like they said that with the Last of Us, it was a masterpiece. It came out, it really hit those numbers. Uh, it really surprised everybody, and people were saying there's no reason to do a sequel. There, um, there really wasn't. Yeah. Well, it was a beautiful game. The first one was... It had a good scenery, good atmosphere. It just was... Like, the character development was great. Narrative was amazing. And the ending was... It ended on a good note. <clears throat> yeah, yeah it's, it's hard it's, to it's, recover it's... from that. Because I, I really... Me, personally, I feel like uh, going through and playing the first one, that it, it was really a period. <clears throat> I think it was good of how the ending was because you leave people in suspense of wondering like how is this going to play out I don't really think that was a question you need to answer but then again people were asking for more like they wanted to experience more they wanted to follow Joel and Ellie on their adventure and figure out what's happening and I, I think when you do that you're setting yourself up for disappointment especially with a game well, like that yeah. even the creative director said that it would test the true fans because of how different it is but I think they just overdid it because I was a fan of the first one. I loved it. I was wait. I was really hopeful for the second one, until I started hearing about all the leaks and 
it just kind of ruined it. Yeah. Yeah. And it I makes mean, sense. Like, you, you can you can sit here and look at, like, you see the storyline of Resident... Uh, like, look at Resident Evil, look at, like, most... Uh, most infected games or movies or even TV shows you sit there you can see like Resident Evil Walking Dead stuff like that they have a good storyline going and they keep building on it does it not work out all the time yes but the one thing they never do is they never take the basically the enemy point of view yeah and I think I think narratively it could have worked right I just think that they made it a jumbled mess for people to follow, right? So, Basically, last Last of Us, I feel like was their attempt to please everybody, and like you mean the Last of Us Two? Yeah, sorry, Last of Us Two yeah. was their attempt to please everybody, and they forgot the number one rule about pleasing everybody. You just can't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, just like, like I said, Abraham Abby Lincoln was. Lincoln said, "You try to please everybody, you're not going to please anybody." Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, if I you think really want to make sure it's down. a good game, you're gonna have to make some sacrifices. If you don't yeah. want to make those sacrifices, then I don't think it really is worth making a game. Mm-hmm. I think the only reason it didn't succeed, like they could have, they could have killed off the main character at the very beginning. But the 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 fact they made you kill Joel, or the fact that they the Abby killed Joel, and then they make you pl- player, I think that's what kind of got me because I. If I killed like the, one of the best people in the story, and then I had to play as the person that killed them, I, I honestly wouldn't enjoy. It. I personally didn't play yeah. the game. I am going to when, whenever it's like on sale, because I refuse to play pay full price price for it. But it's just going to be a disappointment. Yeah, I think you bring up a good point because a lot of people were actually upset, and they pointed this out that like the marketing. I mean, people called it right. They called that like basically Joel is a ghost. And he's dead, and like definitely the first reveal trailer. But the marketing leading up from that, they, they were very uh, deceptive in basically how they portrayed Joel and making you think that, yeah, he was along with you this entire journey. And I think there's nothing wrong with killing off a main character. I just think people weren't happy with how they did it. Wasn't right. It well, wasn't they could have right. killed him off. I would have been fine with any way of killing him off. No. But the but, fact they make you play the character that killed him, it just kind of got don't, to me. Don't kill off someone yeah. that we love for someone that you think that we should love. It, it, what yeah, what ooh, they should have done was inter- introduce her better, because basically you kill off Joel and then she's just like, "I right, this is the only option you have. We're not going to give you any other background until further along in the story." By then, I already have my opinion of her. She just killed mm-hmm. this man that I just played a yeah. whole game with. I'm yeah. not not doing that. That's like because someone. That that's like someone killing off like the guy that you played, like. PlayStation 2 with for so long. You're just like, uh, what are you here for? Oh, I'm here to, you know, play games. No, you're not. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> well, you, you could have sat there and said, like, say, we'll take God of War, for example. You can say, oh, well, God of War 1, you have, like, Kratos going around, killing everything inside every mythic creature, every god. But let's just say, okay, well, God of War 2. You have this new killer who comes in and manages to kill Kratos after he kills off the rest of the gods. It's like that doesn't make sense that you're gonna play as the killer after you just show that this guy killed the most powerful beings. Yeah. Uh, I, I think, think it's well, a... I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, no, no. So like I think this is kinda of going off topic, but God of War, I think they're doing it right, because I think at one point they are gonna kill Kratos. But they have a good ca- character backup. They're not pl- making you play the character that's gonna about to kill him. No. No. Like they, they introduced a second character before they added another person that will kill him. Mm-hmm. That's what you need to do. You need to add a third party. So like yeah. that's actually likable that you kinda of build like a relationship with over like a game or two. Yeah, yeah and, and I think building that relationship is what a lot of gamers want, right? They want to feel invested. Well this is this is something that might it's kind of related but a little off topic of it you know and sad to say uh rip ron da- robbie da- uh, robert downey jr for iron man uh, biggest loss in marvel history in my opinion but he he had that little like the end game was the perfect sub like the subtly third party intro really third and fourth party intro 
Because now you have not only Pepper stepping in for the suit, you also have his daughter. Mm. So later down the line, okay, as things start to like digress and like everything starts to settle down, you c they can make another Iron Man saying, "Hey, now she's older. Like his daughter's older. She's starting to take the steps of his of her father, just like Robert Downey Jr. Or Robert Downey Jr. did." Yeah, just don't I do think it like that's important. Woman. But I think it's important to like a, a lot of people are upset and they're deeming this a failure. But you gotta look at the numbers, right? Like, uh, looking at essentially Sports.com, uh, basically re they released that like Naughty Dog released the game on June 19th, and by the third day on June 21st, it sold more than four million copies worldwide. Now to put that into perspective, Marvel's Spider-Man previously sold 3.3 million copies, and God of War made. 3.1 million sales during the first three days. So I think the I mean, main the main reasoning behind that is because everybody was lo thought, okay, second game going to be the exactly. amazing game, but they refused returns, and so many people like, yeah, I would have bought the collector's edition and I would have pre-ordered the game, but I was still unsure at the time when they released everything about it because I just started playing it and <clears throat> I'm glad I didn't pre-order it because. It would have been possibly a waste of money, and I couldn't get a return on it. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure there's a lot more people that were invested into it mm -hmm. and thought, "Oh, we're definitely going to pre-order this." Yeah. You know, that's that's the whole thing with most games. Like, if you have a good series, like if you have a good first game, which most people do, you can have a second game as you just announce the name, saying, "Hey, we're dropping a second a, a sequel to this." Most people are going to say day one of that announcement is like, "I'm going to buy that." This last game was great. I want to buy the next one. See what happens. They don't even go into looking in the background, saying like, "All right, well, there's this little prequel, like intro." Then you see this. It's like it starts to release the game further down the line, but they already have in their mindset they're gonna buy it. Yeah. Yeah. Like I like God of War. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be releasing a PlayStation 5 like special thing. I'm immediately pre-ordering that. Oh yeah. Because no, I like, know because God, God of War, War so far has been great. Yeah. So like Ascension with, could have been better, but that's personal opinion. So, like, with all of this, yeah. right, so if you take everything that we just spoke about, you know, with the backlash, the success of the sales, um, moving forward, like, where do you see Naughty Dog Studio going, right? Like, so, I know people are like, you're not going to see a third one. Like, that's not happening, right? But, like, where do you see their focus being, especially going into a new console generation? So, there's a, pos there's a possibility of a third one, but the story behind it would be Ellie and Abby would end up working against a common they would wor work against a common enemy but i think the main thing they're going to be going into is uncharted another uncharted game because that's another big franchise and nice. i'm pretty sure that's what's going to be their saving grace at the end because i'm pretty sure sony's not particularly happy with what's going on they made a mm -hmm. decent amount of money but to have that kind of overlook over an exclusive is kind of iffy yeah, we're Nathan, where do you see this going? Where do you well, see them going? If you really think about it, like their Uncharted series did really great. And if you really think about it, there's four games of Uncharted. So in essence of what Darren's talking about when he's making another Uncharted game, it wouldn't be about Nathan Drake anymore. And you already know, spoilers alert, uh, at the end of Uncharted 4 that they have kids. So I think most, most games nowadays kind of go with that flow in terms of ending one story to begin another as they go with the second. Which I'm okay with to a certain extent, but... You know, when you when you do it repeatedly, and you see it most common in games nowadays, it's kind of just repetitive. And it's kind of like taking the mantle hold of what they're doing. We're sure you can be proud of what they're going on, but I wouldn't want to see like something similar to the anime like Naruto. And they're just <laughs> like Naruto had a kid, and he has a kid named Boruto, and literally, they <laughs> the story of the anime is terrible. It, it, there is really no contextual plot, and it's literally going the same path as what his dad did, catching cats and, like, trying to build backstory. I try to understand. But if you're trying to repeat the same steps over and over, continuing on what their, like, forefathers did, and so on and so forth... It just sounds like the same story. Yes. Pretty much. Like, fucking, um... What is it called? What's that game? I love that game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't I, I can't think of the game right now. I'll, I'll probably pop back later. 
but it, it's it's just going to yell it in the middle of the or stuff. Yeah. I ah! mean, if it, you mean if you really want to a game that kind of seems like it's not hasn't really changed that much, I would say beat 'em up games like fighting games like Tekken or Street Fighter. <laughs> but but well, it's it's all yeah, about those how games you play are. It, yeah, those games you can think like, all right, we can add one character or two characters, or maybe like change their model sets, and say, hey, this is still a good game, which yeah. a lot of them are. Like the Mortal Kombat yeah. series, it's all the same yes. thing, but maybe different characters, different move sets, like, different looks. They could even sit there. It's like instead of different, like instead of like changing the characters and changing the move sets, they can literally just sit there and say, hey, we have a new character we want to introduce. Like the newest one they had, uh, what was it like Terminator? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's like that's something new they added that actually worked out really well. I think the Terminator versus Robocop was one of the most badass things I could ever think of. And you will will never see it happen. <laughs> it's the most saddest thing. We'll in never reality. see it happen. We'll it's, never yeah, see it happen in reality. It's literally like <laughs> seeing real housewives go against like desperate housewives. It's just not going to happen. Would we love to see it? Absolutely, but it's not yeah. going to happen. Um, it's back. like seeing Golden Girls against a, spl a Splatoon. But, but, but the thing is, Mortal yeah, Kombat against a what? A Splatoon. They're, they're a strong. Splatoon. <laughs> Dude. The, he, thing, the thing is, with Western. Mortal Kombat, is that we finally got to see something that we didn't think was possible. Robocop exactly. versus Terminator. <laughs> yeah, and that's something that like that. most people would like to see about that. It's like, you're giving, you're giving a fantasy, like, imagination. Personally, yeah. I'd like to see Robocop versus uh, Paul Blart. This is my opinion. <laughs> sure, Mir, sure, in that little happy world, you're like, yes, absolutely. Shh, it's fine, it's fine. We're going to see it someday. <laughs> so I'm going to take that. I'm going to wrap it up. Nice bow. Put it to the side. We're going to segue into our next topic. And uh, basically, uh, what's the future of EA? Uh, uh, EA. Well, we know where they're going with that. E3. E3. Uh, so I know Entertainment Expo. Um, there's a lot of uncertainty around it right now. Uh, you got publishers dropping out. They're not displaying anything it hurts because like with covid right it hit them harder because it basically publishers already had this idea that they weren't going to present at e3 covid kind of just reinforced that so um ign released an article that basically explained e3 2020 canceled explained uh in it it states and i quote we know that e3's organizers the esa are now exploring the idea of an online experience to replace the show and are likely already scrambling to secure announcements. It's hoping to make sure that E3's main event being canceled doesn't equate to E3 shutting down as a whole for the year. It may already be too late. Corporate E3 attendees have surely made their contingency plans for some time and will probably move to make those realities uh, a thing, rather than wait to hash out a new plan. And we saw that this year, right? We saw PlayStation release their own, do their announcement mm -hmm. for the console. Yeah. Xbox is going to do it. Nintendo's doing their own thing. So, like, what what does that mean? Like, E3 got canceled this year, right? We're not seeing it. What do you think that means for the future of E3? Personally, like, this whole year. Personally, I don't see that being a negative thing because, personally, a lot of people don't really have the money. <clears throat> excuse me, to go to E3, a lot of them stay at home, they watch it from like, they watch the, like, They events. watch a broadcast or yeah. something. Like, for example, the Game Awards. The Game Awards happen every year, and I'm pretty sure it's in one big theater and not a lot of people go there. It's it's the same as like the Grammys or like the Emmys. You, A lot of people don't go, they watch it from their TV. So it could be something like that. Just have, just have a broadcast of all the upcoming games it doesn't really have to be a convention uh, necessarily. If you want to make profits like that, have it like, hey, uh, it, like in the in the broadcast, you can be like, hey, you can buy merch or whatever from this website that we just made live literally two seconds ago, and then, yeah, no, and, and I, then people can flock to their favorite game. It can it can always be a success online because you know. Once once everything opens up and everything gets a little more settled, like all this thing going, uh, everything going on, you, it's gonna happen again. You know it's gonna happen again, and it's still gonna be funded because there's people that want to interact with other gamers and other communities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's it as long as everything like clears out, everything goes away. We it's gonna open back up, and it's still gonna flourish. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not like, quite sure about that one. I want. Well, I think I want to get Sabrina's point of view on this. Like, Sabrina, did you grow up watching e E3? Like, is it any relevance to your life right now, anyway? Like, do you miss it? Like, 
where does it play its role? Is it right there next to like coffee in the morning, or is it like down there with doing taxes? I think I think Serena may have disconnected. I think Serena's Serena's gone, people. Well, um, oh, sorry. Uh, we back. <laughs> hey, what the? I'm sorry. Back. I'm no, this is a normal thing. I'm getting mauled by polar bears, so just uh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> just excuse me while I die. <laughs> Guys, uh, let you know, Sabrina's not the best at Minecraft. Uh, Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I was minding my own business. You were minding exploring the ice. Business. Oh god. Shut up, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> 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 up. So while you're getting mauled to death, could you tell us how you feel about E3? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I didn't grow too much up on it. I've but you know, I don't know. You know something just, about I've, it. Yeah, like I've I've always been there with with it. Like I've always watched it, but it's just I don't know. Like there's nothing. Like yeah, I've never want been to like an actual E3 ceremony, and mm. like I'd want to be a part of one, but just like. It waiting it off is like fine. It's not like it has to be done like now, kind yeah. of a thing. Yeah, I, I I just remembered something. Who remembers Game Informer? Yes. Yeah. I, I actually had subscriptions to it. I yeah, I think I I still do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I always loved Game Informer because it, it it's just because like how much work they put into the magazine. Yeah. But like, you look back on it, and you're like. They're just pretty pictures, but, but I still like yeah, it. <laughs> it. It's literally just a, a whole. It's it's kind of like a catalog. It's like, yeah, hey, look at I this can. game that's coming out. Look at this one that's coming. I was like, see, I you're think showing Game Informer won't really go away just because it's like, hey, you know, if you really don't want to use your phone, we're still here for you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's hard. Uh, publications I, everywhere is going away. Yeah, that's it's going definitely going away because. I can imagine the only reason they have a subscription service really is because of GameStop. Yeah, we all know and, how GameStop is doing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but with the whole EA thing, they are they released a video still saying that they plan on doing one 2021. Uh, between and the theory is that it usually goes on between June 15th and June 17th. Mm -hmm. But the but what's been happening? Every game company has been prob. Well, this is just speculate speculized. But they had like Apple uh, left MacWorld in 2009, and they think that these game companies are going with the trend of that. They're leaving these big like events, like maybe like GamesCon, EA, because overall they can. It's cheaper, easier to produce, and they don't have to com like connect with E3. They just kind of have to do their their thing on their own. It's just easier in general for them because they don't have yeah. to like, pay anything they're ready set to go whenever they want they have full control of whatever they do and say yeah i mean it's it's nice to have like it's it's easy to walk away from a big company but the question of walking away from a big company is will you still get that same followers like the followership yeah will they follow I, it, you out that I, door I, I feel like it's kind of obvious though, like, what's it called? Mm. It's it's not even the fact that like walking away from a company, it's just the fact that not everyone's just going to go to the towards a specific company if they like, say, place, like Sony does their own like presentation and everything and has their own con. You won't see that very many people unless like, oh, we're having multiple games doing this, right? And so when you come to E3, you think about, oh, what's going to be on Xbox? What's the Xbox going to do? What's Nintendo going to yeah, do? Yeah, you have to have multiple platforms. You have different communities coming together. Like, hell, I still remember when Dreamcast, Xbox, PlayStation, and the freaking Atari were all at E3. Mm -hmm. Like, and oh, they were man. equal. <laughs> you're making it. You're dating us, you're, man. You're, you're, you're making pulling it back. Woo. Like, that's... Go that, that's flip just don't like don't let Chris bring up Prime. <laughs> Yeah, don't, don't tell me about that. <laughs> but my knees think, already hurt. I think last year and this year are Sony's way of testing. Will this work for us? And I think since this COVID thing, it could like say they did plan, they would be stuck with all the other companies that were screwed over by the whole. Because they were they set their lines on, we're doing E3, but now they don't have E3. It's yeah. too unpredictable when they can do everything it's... online and they're set. That's an important thing, too, is that, like, seeing uh, the reception from these um, events, 
Like, I, I mean, there's no way that they're not being told, hey, yeah, this is great. This is a success. Like, I, and I think, to, honestly, that's just, that's a bigger hit that E3 takes from this, is seeing that. Um, yeah. And it's just a product of the environment and just the time that we're in. It's just unfortunate that everything just happened the way it happened. Yeah, I, I do it, think E3 is going to stick around for longer, but I think companies are starting to move away from it, such like Nintendo's been moving away from E3 since, I believe, like 2013, around that area. Nintendo's mm -hmm. been kind of going, doing their own thing. And then EA has been away from them for, I think, 2013. <coughs> so the, it's been away for a while. E3 has their own, or not E3, EA has their own kind of presentation they do. Yeah. And I, I have to ask the important question, like, I know, like, with Sabrina, we've already made it very clear that it's, it's like, it, it, it can wait, right? But, like, how would you feel if it went away? Like, if tomorrow, poof, bam, boom, it's gone. Like, it's just gone. Like, I how would, have, would you feel? It'd be I would have kind of difference. very disappointed because of how much they've gone through and how much, like, they've put in to being able to put out and showing all all of their viewers, hundreds and thousands of viewers, practically more on all this gaming views and everything and what's coming out to just come to an end would just kind of suck. Yep. What the fuck is that? Because a lot of people have history with it, right? I mean, I remember, again, I'm dating myself, uh, G4 TV. <laughs> like, I remember watching G4 oh. TV with Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb at E3 and it was like it's a thing like I waited for it I would watch it once they G4 died I would watch it on G, uh, IGN um, so like for me it's kind of like you know it, it's a it's a part and you'll always remember it but I think it's just times change right things change so I think it's like one of those things where I think E3 is in a position where they can adapt and they can still stay around but I think oh, you're we are gone from the glory days of E3. I think we're gone from the glory days. Like, it's, we're not going back. You can look at it. It's just like, you know, that that one that got away. You know what I'm saying? And you're just like, oh, you ain't hurt. It's like, well, you got to wise up. And then none of them ain't going to be hurt. You know what I'm saying? So, um, it's just how it works. I, I mean, that's the thing. Constant change happens. You got to be able to adapt and it as it does. Yeah. So. Ouch. Honestly, I think I, I, I'm, I'm I would so be completely sorry. fine with it disappearing because you get the same content from individual people. I think the only reason it's stuck around is because they developers relied on it. Yes. Because mm -hmm. they didn't have the same like you. Platform. They didn't have the same platforms that they did today. Uh, yep. or that, that they do today. Yep. I can so. agree with that. I think that's a big part. And um, I think that's I think it's going to be interesting as we go through like definitely going to 2021 fuck. where what. <laughs> what? So what? Sorry. I think someone here has a little bit of a threat. So sorry. Sabrina, would you like Language. to meet like again? Would you like to meet me? <laughs> uh, as I was, uh, uh, so it's going to be interesting, right? Going into 2021 and seeing like where they end up, like what their plan is. And I think it, it, it's it, seeing them alongside of these PlayStation debuts, Xbox and Nintendo and seeing how, like how much reception they still get. So, I, I think one, we, we will cross that bridge when we get there, and I hope I see E3 on the other side. Uh, but right now, we need to give some attention to our sponsor for this week. And our sponsor <laughs> for this week, as it is every week, is the Mirror Minute. Mirror, give us our minute. Hey, so, <laughs> this week has been horrible. So, instead of random bullshit, like how last week was, this week I want you to visualize what made you the angriest today or not even just today over the past week over the past week think about what made you the angriest you Darren this is the mere minute you calm the fuck Sorry. down <laughs> what made you the angriest over this last week and just curse it the rant got in your mind because rant is rant rant and it shouldn't have rant happened but you are past it so let's hope let's hope that it doesn't happen again. And if it does, you curse the out it you curse it out again. Cause it's most likely gonna keep happening. It's gonna keep because it's like you. Anyway, let's see. You know what? I got carried away. See? Yeah, you, you gotta get over stuff like that. Because sooner or later you just you gotta get ready and get again. Anyway, I'm done. I'm fucking crying. <laughs> 
That, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> was the Mirror Minute. See, we take a lot of pride in the sponsors that we choose every week, and the Mirror Minute has really come out standing as <laughs> the our The Mirror top Minute sponsor. does not fail to entertain. No, it doesn't. It doesn't, and it, it rakes in that ad revenue, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I'm happy. I'm, I will be saying um, a prayer for Mir tonight. Uh, hopefully. And his desk. Me. And his desk. <laughs> <laughs> be, be still, my child. That uh, was also coming from the man that said he doesn't have anger issues. Also, no, go fucking hell. Yeah, fucking yeah, anger issues. <laughs> issues. Like anger <laughs> issues have a problem with me. <laughs> oh, fuck. Look, Mir, I'm gonna um, give you a hug virtually. I'm just sending it to you right now. I'm hot. So okay. I, I would like I would like to point out we do have to pray for his desk more than we pray for him because this is his yeah, second man. desk. I don't. Yeah, I was about to say I don't know what this desk is made of, but I really hope it holds this up. This desk is made of one. fucking wood. It's it's solid <laughs> wood. It's solid oak wood. I actually looked it up. It's oak. Oh, so I, okay. He 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 learned his lesson from the last one Strong and didn't get glass. Where's my cursor? My cursor's not on my. You know what? Fuck this fucking mic. You scared Fuck it off the screen. As he becomes stronger, so does the desk. So with that in <laughs> mind, uh, we are going to go away from the mere minute. Uh, we're going to go into our third topic. Now, I know a lot of people are really excited about this one. Is it weird? No. If two guys... <laughs> Is I'm it sorry. weird? If two guys share a sex song? Like, is it? You know... I mean, if it's not cleaned, you. If it's not cleaned, okay, well, I didn't want that. First of all, do they have socks on? Oh, Do they have their socks on? That is very important. I hate that you said that. Socks gotta stay on. They gotta stay on. There's no way I'm doing that But what if socks were not involved? Excuse me? First of I'm all, saying, Sabrina, I'm you don't know the I'm bro sorry. code, but socks stay on. <laughs> Yo, when me and yes, me I have, know the bro code. Thank you. I'm just saying. When what we FaceTime, if. me and Mir FaceTime, first thing we do is you do a sock check. That's I, I don't even show him my check. face. I I just show him my sock yeah. cover toes. It's people people think we're kidding, but it's not. It's it's we do sock check. It's sock yeah. check at the beginning of the FaceTime. That's yeah. the thing. But like, Always is it protection. like I'm 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 really interested in, from Sabrina's point of view. She straight up like just said. From the beginning, I didn't even get the question out. Well, so but like, uh, Sabrina, why? Like, why? <laughs> just, just why? why mm -hmm. No. Very compelling. Yes, that is a good argument. Yeah. I I, I, I don't I can't really say much on it, but just um. Okay, what's your reasoning weird? behind it, though? I'm a woman, and I don't do male things. All right. Well, if two if two girls share a sex doll, they do. What? Wait, what? Wait, what? I have so many more questions. Wait, I'm gonna Time meet up. your question, Darren, with a yes. <laughs> what? Time out. What? Hold your on. scenario what? was met with a yes. What did I miss? Uh, I, 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 I literally blanked out for a second, oh and all I heard, oh all I heard from Darren is. Do two women share a sex doll? And Sabrina was just like, yes. And I'm like, yeah. Why? No, no, you uh, heard the whole conversation then. Well, I learned something every day. Have you the golden rule? Sure. I have so many <laughs> questions to ask people I know. I don't so many know. questions. No. I don't I mean, know. that's the thing. Do you, I have to, let me set the scenario up very quick, right? I didn't want to touch this. I wasn't going to be the <laughs> one discussing it. But let me, let me set this up. Like, close your eyes, follow with me. Uh, what no. if they have real conviction? No, close your eyes. You're being defiant. Close them. I can <laughs> hear them open from here. So, Good. like, if two, if they have conventions now, right? That's no secret. So, are you rolling up with your dude to this convention, hand in hand, one left, one right, with this, with this, uh, honey? Like, are you doing that? Like, would you show up with your friend with that? Like, like, is that okay? You know, like, how do you? And how does that work? Is it like, I got. Tuesday, Thursday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. First, I feel like it would be like a like a bi-weekly thing. Like, hey, you got it for this week. I'm a go I'm a pick it up next next you know next Sunday type shit. Honestly, yeah. I if for in my opinion, I feel like it's like one of those things where you know you're on a first date with a new girl or something, and you know she gets stood up. Be like the bro code's right there. Got you. Here you go. Here's a birthday present. Today's your birthday. I got you. Understand what happened. Just make sure you, you make sure you you wash it thoroughly. I nah, nah, nah. You don't have to wash <laughs> it. Bleach. You, you, you could literally save that for the next time on your first date. And once you have your first date, you better damn well fucking wash it because I swear to God, I'll slit your throat. 
wow, that escalated Fuck. so very quickly. Uh, <laughs> I was not able to follow it. How, but Darren, okay. how did you get that Enderman to aggro to me? I d honestly, Ask they just the hate people. Y'all sure. next to each other. I'm no, 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 He hit me with a pickaxe, and the Enderman just aggroed to me. I'm God. I'm pretty sure we are done. I'm closing the vault on this discussion. Uh, yeah, I am no, a that, prodigy. That, that was a vault. <laughs> that was yeah, a vault that vault didn't have to be closed, opened. Locked and thrown away. Uh, <laughs> so we can't dig it back up. No, it's dead. yeah, just uh, it's it's buried under like bedrock. You no, know, it's yeah, it is. It is. Uh, it's it, nobody's gonna find it. It's literally what it is. Is is essentially like a, that bad sitcom that nobody's gonna ever watch again. Uh, George Lopez. <laughs> All right. Cool. Oh. So moving into our final topic, it's bucket topic. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Ah, it's bucket. So what we're gonna do with bucket topics is we uh, pull a random topic from a bucket. It's pretty straightforward. I don't, I don't really know why I tried to oh. explain that, but it's bucket topic. Uh, Alright, so well, right I'm just now curious, hand... where'd you get the topic? Like, did you just pick random topics? Random, random topics. The internet. I'm <laughs> like, hey, what's a good topic? No. I literally went to Google and was like, hey, random topics. Google was yeah. like, alright, got you. Um... I'm. I don't even want to be involved in this anymore. Oh no, we're, we're all no, in it. My hand's already in the bucket, Darren. You can't back out. All oh. right, now. <laughs> all right, I'm pulling one out now. Uh, wow, this one. I can't. Even, I don't even know if I can read this. What is this? Uh, oh. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> where is the most in? What is the most inappropriate, most embarrassing place you've ever farted? <laughs> Can we upgrade this one, please? <laughs> Can this one be upgraded? You mean changing your shorts? <laughs> <laughs> I did not appreciate that laugh. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 I'm so I'm weird. Gonna... What, what do you mean by upgrade? Uh... <laughs> Dude, dude, this is not a Delta Airlines flight. You just don't click a button and upgrade to business class. Like, that's well, how this apparently works. that's that's how certain shit works. Because I upgraded <laughs> my my flight path. Um, <laughs> so you're just gonna okay, cool. So like we're just gonna meander on Mirror in his flight path. Um, but like really, what's like the most embarrassing place? I'll start. You know what? I'm uh, this is great. Uh, this I'll start. So uh, in middle school had a crush on this girl uh i grew up with her uh through elementary school swept my entire life mm -hmm. freaking uh w national fitness test we had to mm. do sit-ups and she was my partner to hold my feet probably tell oh. me this i was ready chris as a 12 year old lad was there eight pack ready super strong i was about to show her she had a front freaking row view to see mm. chris's excellence First, and she also had whistle... a front row view to pink eye. I, hey, you know what? <laughs> whistle blew. I went so hard, my body wasn't ready. Freaking blew the loudest little freaking <laughs> gas barrel right into her face. Reverberated throughout the gym. That was a hard word to say. I she never talked to me again. Sad. I will say the most embarrassing thing, a uh, place I farted, was in church. Because, yeah. because you know the no the choir was like going on and the organ was playing, and I saw I was like that? oh it's it's already loud let me just let it out and uh, as I said as I you know let it go <laughs> they stopped suddenly and, and everybody I'm and I I don't mean like this is like a normal Sunday like church this is like. This is like Christmas Eve, so like multiple <laughs> neighborhoods and families were there. So all I have to say, I think I'm the only person in the world who's farted over multiple demographics. That's all I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's so uh Yeah. That's so that's so nice of you. Yeah. Do Sabrina for everybody. Yes. So she's a girl, she doesn't fart N next. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Anywho. 
He's like, oh, I like that you think that. Anyway, I blow my ass daily. <laughs> <laughs> Never said that. Never said that. But you're not denying it. That's true. I hate you all. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> I'm not talking. I'm not talking. I'm we're, taking a sip we're of my all, Gatorade. We're all talking like real talk here. No one said you didn't say no. What about how great Gatorade is? <laughs> <laughs> so let's just uh, flip it. Yeah. Look, okay, I'm telling y'all, like, I'm a Gatorade man through and through. Give me a uh, no. in my face. Get out. Get out. Do you uh, I'm more for, you mean you watered down Gatorade? For, uh, whoa, you mean, whoa. Yeah, that's literally whoa. what it is. Yeah, Mir no, I, no, you're in the back seat of this car right now. No, I'm not in the back seat. Boy. I'm a big what bitch. Is <laughs> I'm, a big <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I'm a big bitch. You're not putting me in the back. I'm definitely not getting in the back with Ryan the troll. He's gonna take all the trunk <laughs> anyway. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm in the backpack kicking your seat. You're in the middle seat. You're, you get the bumps. <laughs> you're not wrong. Matter I'm of fact, no. In you're, you're, seat. you're tiny. You can fit in the hubcaps. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to know that ev where everybody sits in this car during this yeah. podcast. Da I feel like Darren would ride shotgun. He oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, ride Darren's riding shotgun. I'm on the roof. Ryan's in the hubcap. Nathan, <laughs> Nathan is probably like running alongside because he because <laughs> he missed it. And <laughs> Sabrina's just fast. sleep in the back. <laughs> yes, if someone could actually draw that in all motion and like show everybody where they're placed, I would honestly put that as my home screen. So I'm any like, any one, one of the do? subscribers Memories. that we have no, no, uh, any, go to any the of the few subscribers I'm if you if you have any uh, chance in art please draw that. I'm gonna yeah. go to the local school, school and I wanna find What kind of car are we driving? A car? Uh, do you, it's gotta first be a, of all, do you think we? Do you no, think no, no, no. Uh, this group would van. drive a licensed vehicle. Oh, a team van. <laughs> oh Dude, my I God. want Mir to have the freaking. Uh, Mir has Mr. Ice T's tea, afro. Mr. T, cut. I want him to. I don't Did you just say Mr. T's afro? That motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't disrespect that. You get the mohawk <laughs> right, motherfucker. No, no. <laughs> you gotta remember the old times when he actually had an afro. Nah, yeah, nah. The only Come good times is mohawk. Disrespect me on my mic. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Do we have any closing remarks before we close out this podcast? Yes, I do. I do. Um, is it like the mere minute? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was actually like pertaining to all of us. So, uh, oh. this is a quick update about the channel. Uh, all of us have solo content that, that we do intend on bringing to the channel. So, uh, for a brief second, we're, I'm gonna we're gonna go down the line, say what each of us do, uh, or and plan to do in the future, and how we plan on structuring it on the channel. So, I'm gonna start with Sabrina. What are we talking about? <laughs> I'm gonna start with uh, Darren. <laughs> <laughs> so I plan on just recording my content through PlayStation for uh, single player games mostly, such as Ghost of Tsushima. I will be str I will be recording that and probably putting videos up. Um, I'm not like editing them at all. It's all gonna be like raw content of me screaming my head off. Um, that'll be going up on YouTube. Then I do I will be doing probably Twitch streams at some point soon. I don't have a schedule yet, but if you watch him, you'll figure it out. Bye! Uh, now My Nathan. ears hurt from you talking. Nathan, what content do you tend on bringing up? What the fuck uh, does that mean? You wanna... <laughs> <laughs> um, Let's just let these typically... two argue for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I'm fighting Nathan now. <laughs> He's going Anyways, fucking down. So, um, <laughs> the content I kind of want to produce is... Uh, I want to try to produce maybe some first person shooters here and there a couple times where I'm playing Street Fighter and stuff. A lot of beat-em-up games, to be honest, because I'm pretty decent at those. And if anything, it's just going to be a lot of me raging if I'm playing against people. Ugh. It's just going to be me raging against a bunch of people online who are like 10 times better than me, especially for people from Japan. And I'm not trying to be racist. It's just, I'm just being true because... You can't be racist. You're Asian. You yeah. can't be racist. You said you're not racist. That's just how that yeah. works. Right? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not racist. Like oh yeah, I'm no. not right. I'm not, I mean, you know, yeah, none of us are racist then. <laughs> I mean, bleak, bleak, bleak. But yeah, all right. Uh, <laughs> who's next? Chris. Oh my gosh, yeah, a big Chris. toke about to come in. Okay, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> 
I thought you said big toe. <laughs> oh, I was God. so confused. <laughs> Ryan, what do you intend on bringing to the channel? So, other than fishing, I, I don't. Just well, skip. well, Chris actually handed it off to me. I don't know why. I did. Oh, I did a okay. lateral to Ryan. But um, I'm not too much of a single player game. I I do work better in groups. Uh, so I do hope that we can get some more like Apex, some other multiplayer games out. But um. Other than that, I can probably get a few games myself. Probably some, like, random arcade games, stuff like that I can probably put up. It's not something that's going to be, like, a full drawn-out story. It's more something, like, I want to get the biggest trophy system I can. Yep. Okay. So I'll be I'll be more out there looking for trophies more of a, than oh, anything. more of an uh, achievement hunter. Okay. Hey, yeah, that's not because that's copyrighted. All right. <laughs> Sabrina, <laughs> what do you intend on bringing to the channel? Um, I'll be doing my own videos here and there once I, uh, feel on what game I should do. Kind of thinking Subnautica, haven't really thought about it too much, but if y'all got any ideas, uh, hop over those ideas and I'll take it into consideration. Okay, okay. okay. Chris, what do you, yes. what do you intend on bringing the channel? Yeah, hey, what's up guys? Um, so, for me, um, I'm gonna do horror games. Uh, I don't like horror games. They scare me, hence the horror portion, but... You know, sometimes it's just gotta do. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. So if, if so. you want to see Chris pee his pants, just uh, keep liking the videos. It's such a bad idea, but I, I can't it. wait. I can't. You know, I'm gonna be I all personally there. cannot. <laughs> I honestly already can see myself with all the lights on, calling my mom. Back. <laughs> now, now, here's the question. Here's the question for everyone, and everyone in the comments, let us know. Do you want to see Chris with a face cam? <laughs> I didn't think that was even an option. Of course he is. It was not I an didn't option. see his face. We'll see. Well, you know what? We'll use it as a baseline. If it does well, then Chris will do a face cam. But, you know, we'll see where that goes. Because you, you, uh, you got to have a face cam if you're doing a horror game. Yeah. And Just and, to see how many times and, you actually jump. And you, know everybody, and you know everybody just wants to see your beautiful face. No, it's not yeah. that beautiful. I and to finish it off, <laughs> me. I have a lot of emotion. Apparently, I have anger issues, uh, according to Darren. I don't, but if you want to see me rage, not just me, game, everybody. Shut everybody up. agrees. Shh, shut the fuck up. Anyway, if you would like to see, <laughs> if you would like to see me rage over some games, you can uh, watch me. I will be Sekiro. posting. Yeah, uh, I'll be streaming Sekiro over on my Twitch channel. Link in the description. Uh, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, if you want to see some rage, come to me. Chris, e All right. end it. Chris, end All it. Alright, well, remember to like gonna... and subscribe this... Yeah, what? Whoa. I we'll thought Mirror was in our ending tune. Uh, uh, it, remember to like he and didn't... subscribe our yeah. YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram at RealTeam6. Also, check out our other Let's Play videos and future content that we'll be putting out that we just discussed. So, from all of us, thank you for joining us on Real Team 6 Podcast, where we bring you real talk paired with that sweet, sweet gameplay. We hope you can join us next week, and until then, keep it real. Mir, send us out with that sweet jingle. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can even do better. No, it's nope. just music to my ears. Grammy. <laughs> I Grammy. That's what I listen to before I go to bed. <laughs> <laughs>